everyone, I'm Heba and welcome back. Today I'd like to talk to you about a foundation that I've been trying and it is pretty much a foundation that I have been waiting to try. It is by Sunday Riley and it is called the Influencer, the Influencer Clean Longwear Foundation. Here it is right here. I was really excited to get this foundation when I saw on Instagram that they were coming out with this. I thought, oh, I can't wait. I can't wait. I gotta get it. So I went ahead and got it. I got it during the Sephora VIB sale, so I got it with a discount. Yay, it's always good to get something with a discount. And this foundation costs $42, and you get 1.08 ounce of product in here. And it comes in 20 shades. 20 shades is a pretty good, you know, rollout for this foundation. Sunday Riley is a skincare company, and this is their first makeup product. And for them to roll out 20 shades, with this foundation, I think it's 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 good, and they have a good range. I think it's evened up pretty well. Of course, that's just my opinion. Let me tell you about my skin. I am 50 years old, so as you can see, I have aging skin. I have medium tone skin, as you can see too. I have unevenness in my skin. I have texture. I have the melasma spots on my skin. You can see, you know, above my lip and on my cheeks. I've got dark circles. I've got wrinkles, I've got fine lines, I've got pores, I've got, I don't know, what else is there? Redness. <laughs> I have combo skin and I do have the oiliness in my T-zone, especially right here in my nose area and on my chin and on my forehead. And I believe that's it. Oh, I'm sure there's other things in my skin that uh, we'll find. <laughs> but that's just giving you a little history of my skin for this foundation. Now let me tell you what it says here in the Sephora website about this foundation. It says it's a clean, long-lasting foundation with medium to full coverage, formulated with your skin's health in mind. It is good for normal, oily, and combination skin, and it will help with redness, uneven skin tone, and oiliness. It says here it provides a clean, natural-looking, long-lasting coverage that doesn't dry out as the day or night goes on with a satin matte finish that stays fresh looking even throughout workouts or humidity. Now I did not test it during workouts because I don't like to wear makeup. I'm one of those that do not like to wear makeup when I'm working out. I do a hot yoga class and I'm sweating. And I am a sweater, so when I'm sweating, I want that sweat and that fat to get out. So I don't want makeup to keep it in. I know that's not how it works, but that's how I think. So I didn't try it out during workouts. But being here in Texas, in North Texas, it is humid. And it was humid one day, so I did try it out during that day. It also says here it's available in 20 perfectly buildable medium to full coverage shades that expertly conceal redness, pores, and dark spots without looking cakey. With just one pump, get perfectly even skin with ultra natural coverage. For fuller coverage, and more concealing power that never cracks or creases, layer as needed, without worrying about clogging your pores. The influencer controls oil, but never dehydrates your skin for a fresh, healthy-looking, shine-free complexion. Canadian Willow Herb, Northern Truffle Extract, and Bisa Bolo, Bisa Bolo? Give soothing effects so that even the most sensitive skin looks its best. Pores are instantly minimized for the ultimate smooth canvas. Your trusted Sunday Riley with your skincare, now trust them with your foundation. All right, so yes, I do have several of the Sunday Riley skincare products. I have the Good Jeans, I have the Cleansing Balm, I have, what else do I have? I had the Luna Oil, and I also have the Eye Gel, the Eye Cream, the, I think it's called the Auto Corrector Brightener Eye Cream, I believe that's what it's called. I did get this foundation in the shade 210, and you will see me putting it on my face, and you will also see that it's not the right color. So I went to Sephora and got samples of two other shades, shade 220 and 230. Now for the shade 210, it does say this is medium with rich yellow undertones. And yeah, it does have rich yellow undertones in this one. <laughs> So on the first day when I tried this foundation, within the shade 210, I used the Guerlain Lore Radiance Primer. I really do like that primer, so I used that one for the first day. And I used three pumps, and the consistency of this foundation, it's kind of like a serum. It's very runny. Not thick at all. 
And on one side of my face, I used the Beauty Blender on that side, and on the other side, I used the foundation brush. I do feel that the Beauty Blender side, it does look nice on my skin. It makes it look like my skin. And actually on both sides, I had to build it up some more, especially more on the Beauty Blender side. And as you can tell, it looks yellow on my skin. It looks yellow on my skin. <laughs> Towards the day, it kind of looked green, and I'll, I'll do a little check-in video here, and you can see how kind of greenish yellow it looked around my mouth, especially. And when my husband came home later that day, he looked at me, and he kind of did like a little pause, and he said, it looks bright <laughs> and yellow. So I could tell that it was not the right shade for me. And let me go ahead and show you what it looked like after about seven hours of wear. You can see my melasma spots. It came off above my lip, came off in my chin. It completely came off of my nose, not just from where the reading glasses sit. So it pretty much came off where my oily spots are. And that was the end of that day with shade 210. So then I went back and got samples and I tried 220 next. And 220 it says here it's medium to tan with golden beige undertones and actually it's what I'm wearing right now. I'm wearing 220. So it's an okay color for me. It's better than 210, that's for sure. And I'll let you see 230 in a moment. So yes, 220 was a little bit better than 210. And as you can see, I put it on the same way as 210. I used the Guerlain Lore Primer and then I used the Beauty Blender on one side and the foundation brush on the other. And I'm going to go ahead and post a picture of what I look like with the shade 210 and 220. And as you can see, 210, yes, it's a little bit brighter, but it does have that rich yellow undertones that it does say it has. <laughs> so 220 is a little bit of a better match for me. Now with 220, you know, I did about my day, I went about my day, and I did some check-ins with that. Check-in here for the Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation in the shade 220. And I've had this on for a good, wow, seven hours. And I'm going to put pictures of what my face looked like right after I put the foundation on compared to, I believe, six hours later. And as you can see, the foundation after, it was pretty much gone from my nose, from my chin, and from my forehead. It, it just pretty much was just wiped away. And you can see my oiliness shine through by my nose. So then I tried 230 and it says here it's medium to tan with golden bronze undertone. And it does have that bronzy look on me as you can see here. And I'm going to put also a picture of shade 220 with shade 230. And they kind of look the same but I think 230 was just a little bit grayer to me. Uh, that's just, just, that's just me. So with 230, I wanted to use a different primer, thinking it is this foundation is a silicone-based foundation, so I wanted to try a silicone-based uh, primer. So I tried the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, and I do believe that the foundation stayed on my face a little bit longer using that primer than with the Guerlain Radiance Primer. And I also did check-ins with that foundation, shade 230, and this one was more in the humidity part of it. <laughs> We're here at our festival here in our small town, Derek Days Festival, and it's really fun. They have a great chili cook-off, brisket cook-off. Wow, that's <laughs> some good stuff there. And uh, so I just want to do a check-in here. I've had this foundation on for four and a half, five hours, and it's hot here in Texas, North Texas, and of course I'm sweating. So just want to see how this foundation performs and do a check-in. Kind of gathered here, my nose, but 
but this is what it looks like after being in the sun for a couple hours. All right, I'll do another check-in. A place where it's quieter. <laughs> okay, it's been about eight hours, and as you can see, I'm a little shiny in my shiny spots right here. It's completely off right here, and on my chin, and on my nose. My forehead, it's a little bit better today, it's a little bit better. I do think using the Smashbox primer did kind of help keep it on my face a little bit longer. And even though I'm a little shiny right here, it's not as shiny as it was before. I think setting it with the LA Girl, the, uh, the matte setting powder, yeah, that one, I think that one kind of helped. So, all right, that's it with this foundation. I'm going to go wash it off now. So even in the humidity part, as you can see, it did kind of hold up a little bit better using the Smashbox Primer. I, I do think that that helped. And with 220, I did set it with powder. I believe I set it with not a mattifying powder. I, I do know that one because in shade 230, I did set it with the LA Girl, the matte setting powder. I did set it with that and that did help with the shininess because as you can see with shade 220, it was shiny. It was really shiny on me. 230, when I did the check-in for 230, you could tell that it wasn't as shiny. So I do believe using a silicone base primer helps and setting it with a matte powder if you have oily skin, which I have combo skin and a lot of oiliness right here. And so here are swatches of shade 210, 220, and 230. All right, now that you've seen what it looked like on me and how it wore on me, let me tell you about the pros and cons. So the pro is that it does look great on me right after I put it on, especially with the Beauty Blender. I do like how that looks. It does feel like a moisturizer on your skin. It feels light and airy, and when I was outside, I didn't feel that heaviness with it. And I noticed that it didn't cake up on me like a lot of foundations do, especially after setting it with powder. And I also like the, the bottle. I really do like this, this plastic bottle. I guess I should have mentioned this in the beginning. It does come with a pump, which is really nice. That's the pump right there. I think it's really great, especially for travel. And it's very light. I like it. Now the cons. The cons is that it's not long wearing. After, I believe after five hours, you could already see it off of my nose, off of my, above my mouth, and on my chin. It did make me look oily, a little more oily than usual. The shades that I tried were either too yellow or too gray. 220 was a nicer shade between the three that I tried, but still, it didn't look right to me. And it is not medium to full coverage foundation. At best, it's more of a light to medium foundation because you can still see my melasma spots you can see it right now. I did not put any orange corrector on my spots above my lip or on my cheeks. Just to let y'all see, it is not a full coverage foundation. All in all, I'm going to have to say this is not my favorite foundation. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm going to have to return this foundation back. I feel really bad not liking a foundation and not giving a good review on a foundation because I was really excited about this. You know, when I saw that she was making a foundation, because I do love her skincare products, I was really excited. I was like, I can't wait to get it. And when I got it, it was a letdown for me. I'm sorry to say that, I really am. But I have to tell it like it is. I mean, it just did not work out. This foundation just did not work out for me. It may work out for other people, which is great, but for me and my skin type and my skin tone, it is a no for me. So yes, I will be returning this foundation back. Here are the samples that I got. This is in the shade 220 and 230. So luckily I'll just put these in the recycling bin and return this one. So I think I covered everything for this foundation. I think so. If not, I'll put it down below so you just so you guys can see. But anywho, all right, you guys, this is my review for the Sunday Riley Influencer Foundation, and I hope you find it helpful. 
And thank you guys for watching this. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button so you can see more videos like this. And you all have a wonderful day, and I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.